Hey everybody. Um, just gonna put an update out. Um, just came down for some coffee real quick. <clears throat> get out of the ICU. Uh, get a minute to myself. Um, Mandy had a pretty good night last night. Um, and pretty good meaning um, she's improved a bit. Uh, more awareness. Uh, more um, her, her speech is uh, don't take this as she's talking normal. She's not. Um, but it's like tremendously improved over um, what it was the day prior. Well, sorry, before the, uh, during the, during the stroke incident. Let me just say that when she, when she was like having the effects of the stroke, um, I was also reminded this morning <coughs> through, uh, Jeannie, who I sent an update to, um, that, um, you know, she didn't know, she didn't know who she was, uh, during that episode. So the fact that she's back to awareness and she knows who everybody is, she's, she's hyper aware when she's awake. Uh, the med, the meds are kind of putting her in and out, but anyway, so yeah, when she, she had her stroke, she didn't really know who anybody was. She didn't know who she was. She didn't know her own name. Couldn't say her own name. Totally just lethargic. Just, uh, you know, just, she couldn't do anything. Um, no responsiveness to, you know, anything. But, um, so her speech is a little better. She appears to be, um, swallowing a little better. Not great. I mean, she can't she's not ready for like a bite of food at the moment, but she, when I give her a piece of ice, you know, it's, you can, you can see her throat working and, and I, you know, just asking her while she's eating ice is, it's making me swallow just thinking about it. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, she can't, she's been struggling with that, but, you know, asking her, Hey, is it your, are your muscles contracting? You know, are you actually swallowing or is the ice just, melting and it's just running down your throat uh, but um, she seems she feels like she's swallowing it's just very odd and slow and she has to work at it um, so that's a good sign uh, that's a good sign so I'll take the win um, they're gonna the speech therapists are coming today they're gonna scope her again look at her vocal cords but uh, her uh, compared to the other day during the stroke incident when they scoped her they scoped her during that um or when she was going downhill and one one of the two so there's your vocal cords is basically like two things one of them was working and the other one not so much <clears throat> it was probably you know, she kind of told me it was like 50 percent you know working but she couldn't make anything out um and her tongue wouldn't work well now she's like articulating, talking. I can hear her voice now. Not, not a, not a hoarse scream for help coming out of there. <clears throat> um, so I can, I'm starting to hear her natural voice come through. She's articulating words pretty well. And um, it, I really feel her tongue's still swell, like severely swollen. I really feel like if her tongue went down, once her tongue goes down, I really feel like her, her speech is going to be a lot better. Um, a lot better. Like I, I think, I think the tongue right now is the major hindrance <coughs> of her talking normal. But anyway, she's doing good. So they're going to come scope her. Um, if, uh, if they give us the good go ahead, then they're going to let her start eating some applesauce. She hasn't had anything to eat since like nine o'clock Thursday night, I believe. And this is Monday morning. Um, so she's, you know, she's nauseated, but at the same time, she's starving to death. Like she's hungry, uh, as of yesterday anyway. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign too. Her appetite is coming back. Um, so slowly, but surely we're getting there. I'll take the win. I'll take it. I'll take an inch, uh, you know, even if it's a marathon, I'll take an inch, uh, for, for the day. So, yeah, very thankful. Um, what else? They pulled the bandages off. Um, yeah, she's not gonna be happy about her hair. I'm just gonna say that. And I'll leave it alone. Um, so you guys won't see a picture of her for quite some time. 
assure you. Um, her choice, not mine. Um, that's about it. She's doing pretty good. Uh, thanks for the prayers. Keep them coming. Um, feel like I... <clears throat> yeah. Everybody wants to do something. And, and it's appreciated. Love offerings and things that are coming through. Thank you to those of you who have uh, reached out. Uh, just open, open-hearted there. Uh, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's 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 expensive being here and staying here and everything that's been going on lately. So it's appreciated. It's absolutely appreciated. It will definitely uh, help ease some some worry. Um, but really, just pray for us. Um, pray for her specifically, uh, just that she'll continue to get better. Um, I'll, I'll take whatever God gives me. I will. Uh, but I need her out of this hospital. <laughs> I need, I won't feel, I won't feel better until she's out of ICU. There's a reason that she is sitting in ICU. She's not out of the woods yet. Um, so that's, that's the right now prayer is healing at least enough to get out of ICU. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take that much. That's all, that's all, that's all we need right now. Just continue to pray with us. Thanks, guys.